Hi everyone, this is Sam from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Today I'm going to talk about the recently released AMD 9800X 3D processor benchmark. Many of the reviewers have shown the 1080p benchmarks on AMD 9800X 3D and it shows pretty much powerful performance on 1080p resolution but the question is what about the 4k resolution what about the real world performance last time to talk about the star wars zd survivor benchmarks we have star wars zd survivor at 1080p the 35k intel and 7700x perform closely while the 9800 x3d is brutally fast following for 234 fps making it 51% faster. Now you do not need 234 FPS on average to enjoy this game. And in fact, 155 FPS on average is plenty. So the 35K and 7700X are adequate here. What this data tells us is that when placed under a heavy gaming load, the 9800X 3D can deliver 51% more performance, which is a substantial increase. And while not particularly useful in this example it almost certainly will be in the future so if you are primarily gaming you want to know this information before spending 630 us dollar on the inter 25k opposed to what should be 40 us dollar for the 9800x 3d now if we are to test at 4k with dual ss balanced upscaling enabled we would still find that the 9800x 3d is indeed faster than the Intel 25k and 7700x though now by just 16 percent so there's still a performance benefit even under real world conditions that said everything we learned from the 1080p data remains true the intel 25k and 7700x are more than fast enough in this title both comfortably delivering a high refresh rate experience this also doesn't necessarily tell you how a more affordable GPU such as the RTX 4070 would perform since we're using the uh, maximum or epic quality preset if for whatever reason you needed higher frames rates. You could simply downgrade the quality preset to high or even medium which would massively boost performance assuming you have the CPU headroom. So once again while GPU performance scales massively with quality settings CPU performance does not at least not to the same extent if you are new in my channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications and upcoming videos i have another channel named awesome tech gaming pro where i upload similar kind of tech videos like tv comparison sound system home theater graphics card you can check and subscribe now if you see the last of us part one game the results in the last of us part one are what many who criticize low resolution CPU testing might want to see. At 1080p, the 9800X 3D is 16% faster than the 7700X, but at 4K with upscaling, it's only 1.4% faster, which might make the 9800X 3D seem pointless for 4K gamers. This is both true and untrue. It's ultimately too broad a statement painting all gamers with the same brush. Many AAA games are used more as benchmarking tools rather than precise performance guides for each specific games, though they can serve both purposes. In this case, with the CPUs, we're looking at the actual FPS numbers become less relevant. You don't need over 200 FPS to play and enjoy The Last of Us Part 1. Most gamers ourselves included would be thrilled with 140 FPS and all three CPUs can deliver that level of performance as seen at 1080p. Given this, introducing a GPU bottleneck just reveals the leading obvious. Yes, it's worth noting that upgrading from a 7700X to a 9800X 3D likely won't deliver 16% more performance in The Last of Us Part 1, but uh, that should be clear. The 7700X averages 179 FPS at 1080p. So if you are content with 140 FPS, 100 fps or anything below the 1080p numbers the data will reflect the gpu limitation not the cpu one now if you see the cyberpunk uh, 2077 phantom liberty a similar story is seen in cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty the 9800x 3d is 32 percent faster than the 7700x at 1080p but only 5 percent faster at 4k with upscaling it's still 70 percent uh, faster than the intel 285k which is significant though if you are happy with an average of 140 fps the 285k is, will suffice though that still makes it a poor value choice for gaming 
Here, Cyberpunk 2077 serves more as a tool to gauge the true gaming capabilities of these CPUs, providing insight into how they will uh, age and which will fare best over time. But unless you need over 200 FPS, the 9800X3D isn't essential for this game. Now, if you see the Hogwarts Legacy a game where the fork argument completely falls apart is Hogwarts Legacy, which is incredibly CPU demanding. At 1080p, the 9900X 3D is 37% faster than the 7700X and 43% faster than the Intel 25K, increasing the resolution to 4K with upscaling enabled. The 9800X 3D still holds a 33% lead over the 7700X and a 35% lead over the 25K, so it's still massive margins. These are not only significant but can be game-changing margins for those who prioritize uh, a high refresh rate experience. However, we're using a high preset here. If you are uh, were the enable ultra, the performance margins would narrow. Along with the frame rate, it will come back to the casual versus competitive frame rate discussion. If your content with uh, 60 FPS and all visual settings maxed out, including ray tracing, CPU performance within reason doesn't really matter. You certainly don't need the 9800X 3D, but as a tool to measure CPU performance under heavy gaming loads, it's clear the 9800X 3D is superior providing the best gaming experience even at 4K with the right settings like hard preset and balanced upscaling. Now, Assetto Corsa competition for heavily CPU limited games like uh, Assetto Corsa competition, the tested resolution doesn't matter much. Here, the 9800X 3D is over 70% faster than the 7700X and Intel 25K at 1080p and still more than 60% faster at 4K with DLSS upscaling. In this case, using higher resolutions doesn't change much, making it a solid choice for competitive settings. While SEC may not demand high frame rates like the shooter, SEC players often value FPS performance, and this is a useful tool to assess uh, CPU gaming performance. The Revenant 2 data is still uh, similar to what we observed in Cyberpunk and The Last of Us Part 1, through, uh, though the 9800X 3D still offers additional performance at 4K despite running into GPU limits. If 135 FPS isn't enough and you want 140 FPS or more, the 9800X 3D will allow your GPU to hit that target with the right quality settings, reaching up to 158 FPS, whereas the Intel 25K and 7700X simply can't reach that high. Now, if you see the Homeworld 3 in CPU limited games like Homeworld 3, even at 4K, the 9800X 3D is still 34% faster than the 7700X, although the margin would be smaller without upscaling. This is another example that challenges the notion that CPUs don't matter at 1440p and 4K. They can end in meaningful way while you don't need extremely high frame rates for Homeworld 3, playing at over 100 FPS rather than below it makes panning and unit control smoother. So, you clearly see the performance of uh, these few games. The 9800X 3D, no doubt, is a gaming champ nowadays. You definitely should buy this uh, 480 US dollar processor. And Intel TK5K, sadly, is disappointing. So, what's your thought about this 3 processor? Please write in the comments below. That's it from now.